It um, has not been voted on yet would be the town managers. Uh, it's in at $282,511. Um, I don't know if you have a, need to have a discussion on that or where you want to go. So. Well, let's pull it up. We'll just go down the list and you guys can let me know if you want to talk or if we are going to vote or what. Well, why don't we, uh, that's under the executive, right? Yes. yes sir. Yep. Sorry, under executive, yes. All right. So. The number may be a little different than what you have in front of you. $282,511. That one has changed since the books were made, but has not changed from what you received on Friday. $282,511. I so moved that figure for the executive uh, amount. Do we? Uh, Do we have to discuss uh, wages at this wages point? at this point? No, you don't have to. <laughs> don't have to. You but, don't have to. Uh, <clears throat> I think this is probably the point where we should bring this up. Okay, so I. Yep, yeah, I would think. All right. So I like to make a motion that we include in the 2017 budget a two two percent merit raise. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. To increase the town manager's salary by six percent effective April first. April 1st of 2016. 2016. Okay, we, is that, that's a motion. So that is a motion. Second to second. Any conversation? Jim? Yeah, I'm against that. Uh, I think it should be any wage increases should be included in the budget and give people the opportunity to vote on increases to look at it. I think, um, I think there are a lot of wages that need to be increased. But I think it needs to be done in a really transparent manner, and I think people need to be able to voice their opinion on it. So that's my opinion that it needs to be uh, in the budget for next year. We didn't put it in the budget for this year, and we should have. Well, I, I know typically we don't we wait until um, we have our performance evaluations, and that's not done until usually the the latter part of the summer or early fall. So it's hard to put it into the budget if you don't don't have your your uh, evaluations done so typically that's not been part of the budget they've done that but I, I hear what you're saying so any further discussion mr. Welch is uh, um, uh, served remarkably um, his uh, evaluations uh, although not public uh, done by the board have been extraordinary uh, the revenue that he oversees and of course there's the school split exceeds 60 million dollars when you include warrants uh, it's a $70 million corporation. He leads uh, both union and non-union personnel uh, to the tune of uh, perhaps Hampton's largest company. Maybe Foss Manufacturing is more. But certainly uh, none uh, come close to the responsibilities that uh, he leads. Uh, he's done an extraordinary job. He's turned this town around from uh, um, perhaps a morale low four or five years ago when uh, much, uh, much news was in the paper. And he's widely responsible for that. Uh, he is now at a point with this uh, pay raise where he is not subordinate to uh, department heads which have received raises this past year uh, where an employee would be making more than the chief executive. I fully support uh, his extremely uh, proficient tenure and uh, uh, sub support the, uh, the, the pay raise at 6% and echo Rusty's uh, um, uh, sentiments that uh, the evaluations are done and uh, it makes sense to give pay raises for merit in a meritocracy for uh, uh, performance of duty that is uh, so stellar and certainly uh, must be recognized post uh, the uh, publication and the evaluation of that employee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Anything else? Anything else? So we have a motion and second. All those in favor? Those opposed? Three to two. Okay. While we're here, we also, this would be the town, assistant town manager will be under this also. Yes, yes I have a, another motion, Mr. Chairman, that the board vote to increase the assistant town manager's salary by 3% effective April 1st, 2016. Have a second? Second. I'm going to voice the same opinion uh, that I think people are, are deserve a raise, and I think we just need to do the raises in a more efficient manner, in a more open and transparent manner. And I think it, it just, just, there are a lot of our departments that are, that are, the pay scales are wrong, 
his discrepancies, and we really need to take a serious look at it and take a serious, and that when we offer this, that the people know what we're doing. So that, that's my opinion. And I would just like to say that I agree with Jim 100%. Um, I think they should all be done at the exact time. The, everything should be taken into consideration, and it should be put into, you know, it should be included in the budget. And, and I agree. I think uh, it, it should be put in the budget. However, it wasn't for this year, and we've already given out raises to everybody else. So I think we have to address that. Now, whether we address next year, next year's budget of putting some money in there, that might be the thing that we want to do. But this is this is for addressing this year's part of the budget. And I just want to stem on what Rusty said. We haven't done it. We didn't do it for this year. But I think what we do, the way I see it, is there's a lot of people that deserve raises that maybe haven't gotten them, and we need to start somewhere. And like Mr. Bean said, you can't have department heads making more than our marvelous town manager who oversees this whole operation. So I think you start with the town manager, you work your way down, and over time we'll work it out. And if we think we should maybe add these to the 17 budget, then I think we should probably do that. So this way it's open and everything's in there when it goes for its next review. Okay. But how many other uh, department heads make more? make more than the town manager yes none no i know no, we've just made it we've corrected that just the police yeah just, just the police and then i mean, that's you know that's why you know we went with the police you know we it was widely uh different and that's why we tried to you know make it it's not that i'm against anyone getting these pay raises but we tried to correct a wrong there but i think we have to correct the wrongs in a better way than what we're, what's been, okay. what is happening. Okay. I'd, I'd like to uh, um, address the issue of transparency. Uh, there's been uh, no discussion on my part with any other board member about a pay raise. Uh, other board members can speak to their, uh, to their, uh, um, to, to the issue if they'd like to. But when people are talking about transparency, uh, there's been one meeting uh, about this. We sell tonight, if I may say so, um, and uh, there were discussions. Uh, that meeting lasted about 28 minutes. The issues that were discussed will be addressed by motions by Selectman Barnes. They'll be voted on in full transparency for the public tonight. We've been voted on it and uh, put into office by the uh, people of this uh, town and to act uh, as Selectman in accordance with uh, the law. But there's been no, uh, no uh, dodging of any transparency issues. Uh, the timing of the process may not meet everybody's approval, but there are men and women doing good work, and they've been evaluated. Uh, we wish to uh, retain them. We wish to keep high standards, as we've heard from uh, the police department tonight in their magnificent performance. It's a moving target. It's not perfect, but I, I support the, uh, the motion, and there'll be a few more to come, and I'll support those. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let me just clarify transparency. In no way did I mean that anything was being done behind anybody's back or anything. I should have said the voters have some more to say on it, so they have more to say on the budget. So I should have worded it uh, differently. In no way did I did I mean to say that anything was being done behind anybody's back. And I am trying to suggest that you know it's maybe our mistake for not including it in the budget. And, and I think we all agree with that. That it should be at some point in time. But that being said, we need to do something. So. We have a motion now for 3% for the assistant town manager. It has been duly seconded. All those in favor? Three. Those opposed? Two. And then I also have a motion that the assistant town manager be added to the town's life insurance program for full-time employees at no cost to the employee. Second. Yes, and the dollar figure that is under... Uh, roughly $180, I believe. Yeah, it was under 200 50 cents a day. Yeah, and, that, and that's just something that all of our uh, full-time employees have. And yes, um, he's less than full-time, but his position, uh, he does not have a lot of benefits. And this is one benefit that we feel that we should allow him to have. I have no problem. All those in favor? I'm just going to abstain because I wasn't at four. the meeting. Okay, four, one abstention. Okay, now getting back to the town manager's budget. Do you want to put a figure in there of an increase for 
for next year? Is that? I would make a motion that we put a figure in there for for a uh, for you know to, for raise next year. Okay. What What are you looking at at a figure? Is, it, is this? You can do this now, right? You have the ability. Point zero six. Changes a whole bunch of lines in the budget, so I can. Uh, We'll see how good you are. Director. Once you change a, um, any wage line in the budget, yep. it affects several other sections of the budget okay. <clears throat> line items. So um, it'll change my numbers a little, but and I will, um, but it can be done to answer okay. your question. So what are you looking at at, at to put in for a? I, I, I would put in three percent. Three percent for both. That's my my feeling. On, on next year's budget, budget on the 2017 budget. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Sorry, Christy. <laughs> okay. So is Did you want to put that directly into the town manager section and not into the merit line? Correct. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that number is going to change. Change these numbers real quick. Yep. And again, I, I think you're right. This at least gives some full transparency so that <coughs> doesn't necessarily they're going to mean they're going to get the 3%, right. but at least it has something in there for them. In there to do it. So it's three for both of them, correct? Yep. Yes. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Okay. 